Hello again, it's me. So um, I am gonna do a death pile haul <clears throat> from because I haven't done one in a while and I am trying to get through my death pile as we all know. Um, I have in my closet, I'll show you a photograph of <laughs> the two shelves in my closet in my guest room, my guest room, that I pulled all the shoes off of. And some of these things have been around for Gosh, a long time. <laughs> so some of them are bad buys. Some of them are from before I really was just, you know, from when I was just learning. So don't judge me. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to pull them out <clears throat> because the goal is to get them cleaned up and listed by the end of the week. I already listed like 25 pairs of shoes this week um, that weren't from deep death pile but this is deep death pile so here we go you ready okay i'm gonna pull them from this side of the bed you can see i'll put another picture of the pile of shoes um and move them under this side of the bed so let me try to be efficient <laughs> so first up are these men's canvas doc martin uh they're not loafers what are they i don't know shoes there's a word. I'll find it. Anyway, they're Doc Martin. They're not vintage Doc Martin, but hopefully, yeah. Um, the next, I think these are Foot Joy. So I got these pair of Foot Joy. They're not really the golf, golfing shoes with the cleats on them, but they're some saddle shoes. So I have those. They're going to get cleaned up. <laughs> and then I have these Keens. They're kind of smaller size. I think Keen sneakers. Keens, yes. This is gonna go quick. <laughs> if I don't comment on everything. All right, and then I have these um, Converse. These were really cool. They're turquoise lined, but they have this really cool chain pattern painted on them with glasses and studs. So they're kind of punky looking, but still soft. And I'll put these together. I have two pairs of Sperry's. I know, Sperry's. But I have them. I'll list them. If I can make my money back on them, at least that's not a loss, right? At this point, they need to go. They need to go, Sperry's. Oh, and there's another pair of Sperry's, women's Sperry's. Yeah, they were half off when I got them, in my defense. <laughs> oh. And these are just a pair of Echo leather <clears throat> low top sneakers for women in black echo ecc ecco um i have another pair of keen sandals in khaki green yes those i have these tahari houndstooth i got them because they were houndstooth i'm not a big tahari person but i love the big block heel and the houndstooth wool sides and they still have their size sticker in them so they're really in good condition so I have those i have these gray signature coach sneakers i don't know how coach shoes do i always thought they were kind of silly coach but i kind of i'm one of those people that thinks wearing someone else's logo all over you is a little weird so I'm like, if they want me to wear their logo and advertise for them, they can pay me. Why am I buying it from them? That just seems strange to me. But I'm old, so there you go. Although that kind of thing has been around for a long time, so I should shut up. Here I am shutting up. These are just G.H. Bass and Company, which is kind of a nothing brand. But the style, I love. The style is so, like, 20s, 30s, male. I just love them. I wish they fit me. I would keep them. Maybe they'll fit my kid. I may try my kid before I list them because I don't know how well they'll do. <clears throat> uh, here are a pair of glittery blue, glittery blue Converse. You can see this pattern. It's pretty cool. Yes, clean those up. I'm getting uh, less and less fond of cleaning Converse. <laughs> It's just that, you know, I use the sponge, the the bleach sponge thing, and 
I, I did get a good tip to that you don't need to scrub, that it actually if you just brush lightly, it actually works either just as well or better, and it doesn't shred your sponge. But the sponge still shreds, and by the time I'm done, I have like little bits of like sponge all over me. It's gross. I don't like it. And I have these cowboy boots that have been sitting around forever. What are they? What's the brand? Excuse me. Um, oh, they're Justin. So they're just Justin embroidered cowboy boots in really good condition. Yep. And these are Sorrells. These are really rough. <laughs> these are really rough. And these are going to take a lot of cleaning. I don't know why I picked them up, but I just thought they were a cool design. So I'm going to try to get this off. This is on the suede. So I have some suede cleaner I'll try. And I'll just sell them as organically distressed. And... <laughs> And see, even if I get $25 for them, that's great. Here's another pair of Converse with black laces, high tops. So they're black on one side, and then the other side is this cool skull pattern with black toes. I thought they were really cool. So we'll try those. Um... And these are a brand called Betty Page, Betty Page, Betty Page, who, in case you don't know, <clears throat> was a big pinup girl way back in the day. Um, <clears throat> she was very well known and people still copy her haircut everywhere. Um, but anyway, these are Betty Page and they're these lemon flats, lemon slice flats. Aren't they cute? I know, they're a little too big for me, which is not usually the case. Usually they're too small. I think these are an 11. Yeah, they're an 11. They were too big for me. I tried them. Um, woof. These are vintage Doc Martens. So these are the shoes. So these shoes don't do as well as some of the vintage boots, but I did have a pair that sold pretty well. So I'll try them. They'll probably sit for a while, but they're Docs made in England. Yeah. Okay, here's another pair of cow here's another pair of cowboy boots. <laughs> These were mine, and I just wasn't wearing them. But they're cool. I like the round toe instead of the pointy snip toe. My dad used to call say that they were cowboy boots that pointy toe was good for killing cockroaches in corners. <laughs> My dad's a hoot. Uh, they're also Justin, but they've got this cool distressed look. Yeah, cowboy boots. Okay, trying to move it along for ya. These, these actually I featured in my first bins haul video that I, the first time I ever went to the bins and I just haven't gotten around to cleaning them up and selling them. I did wash them, but they still need a little more TLC. So these are these um, Dutch Brothers rain boots. So I'm going to just get those out of my life. <laughs> that is the goal, to get this big pile of shoes out of my life. Um, oh, I this LA cap, which was in among the shoes. We'll get rid of that. It's a diamond new era. I don't know. I'm not, I'm amazed by some of these vintage snap caps, snapback caps, trucker caps. This isn't that, but um, that sell for like hundreds of dollars. Have you seen that? I don't even know what to look for. I'd like to learn more about it because they're small. <laughs> and I feel like they show up, I feel like they show up at the bins a lot, you know, because people don't know. All right. These are a pair of Uggs. They're also a little rough and need some good cleaning, but the fuzz inside them is really good and firm and not crushed. So it's just the outside that needs a little brushing and TLC, I think. <clears throat> it's not the right season, but out. <laughs> These are the cutest pair of the kids Birkenstocks that I've ever seen. And they're rough. They're, the paint has kind of worn off of them, but look at that. <laughs> Those are adorable. <laughs> so yeah and the treads are in pretty good shape there's some it's kind of a little thin here but I thought somebody might just want them for the for the kitties you know super cute okay what else do we have here oh is your White House Black Market I know White House Black Market this is when I was picking up White House Black Market because the first coat that I ever sold um on Poshmark was White House Black Market so it kind of made me go, oh, I have Click Market, but I know better now. But these are just simple croc embossed slingback heels by White House Black Market. 
Out, 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 Javin Spot. Uh, Nike Air. I have no idea about these. I got them at the bins, obviously, because they're rubber banded together. There you go. Um, almost done. Can you believe it? Short. These are shoes by Gentle Souls. Okay, these are the most recent sold, <laughs> highest priced recent sold of these brand of shoes. And I just have to show you because this is just, I don't know, should I model them? <laughs> Ew. And I must have looked it up because I've never heard of this brand before, but I must have looked it up. But they're just a really simple cross front black leather comfort heel. Cute. Mary Jane is she. Um, whoa. More a pair of Nikes <clears throat> with this cool purpley spotted embroidered. They're all embroidered, these little purple spots. Besides. Okay, two more. Wow. These are Durango, Durango, little Western booties. Yeah, those are going. All the way to the end of the week. Hold me to this now. Oh, no, there's three more. Well, two more now. <laughs> these are Nana, N-A-N-A. -N -A. But I love these little shoe ankle boots. Look at those. Aren't those cool? The little fold up. And these are metal, <laughs> metal bobble thingies. There's some missing up here, but you fold it down. Who's going to see, right? But anyway, distress. Look cute. Ankles, see, see things, see, see. And then the other ones were, I can't find the other one. It's probably on the floor, but I'll just show you one. And these are Minnetonka of the classic moccasin style. Okay. <sighs> Cleaning them up, getting them photographed, getting them listed before, oh, let's say this time next week. What do you think? Can I do it? Let's consider it a challenge. Where are your shoes that you've been stockpiling? Do you have more than me? Less than me? One, two, 10, 20? Grab a big handful of them and let's get them photographed and listed together, okay? See you soon.